it's often been a burden of mine, especially as one who is growing up both in age and in the Lord, to see a future generation to carry on the legacy of those who have come on behind us. And as he just mentioned, with the passing of Dr. Frank Garlock, which those of you who are familiar with the music ministry of uh, Majesty Music, I just said that all weird, but uh, if you follow Majesty Music, then you learned that he just passed away this Friday and went up to play the trombone up in heaven. And so it is going to be a big hole to fill, but he's been a champion of conservative Christian music for decades. And again, it's a burden of mine to see that legacy continue. And those who have come behind him, like a, a back in September when we had our Singspiration and featured Ron Hamilton, uh, he and his wife and family took over that ministry from Frank Garlock and continued that trend. And that's now been passed along as you know, uh, if you follow Majesty Music, uh, Ron Hamilton himself is suffering some some of his own health issues, and so that's then been passed along to one of his daughters and and her husband. But the song that we're going to sing is actually a song that Frank Garlock's grandmother uh, influenced in a great way, uh, and she was responsible for helping Frank Garlock come to the Lord and to teach him how to live for the Lord and to teach him to have that quiet time. And so the song that we're going to sing now, There's an Altar in My Heart, is a song about dedication and that quiet time that we can all have with the Lord. There's an altar in my heart where I often go apart just to sit at Jesus' feet and rest. I have found His love complete with a peace so rich and sweet. In His presence I am Oh. 